this is function generator this is the switch to turn it on and off here this knob is used to set the frequency range and this is used to f for fine adjustment of the frequency and this is the socket which is used to get the AC output and pressing these buttons th this is for sine wave and this is for square wave you can set whichever you want according to the experiment this is regulated uh, DC power supply which can give 5 volts and 12 volts as the voltage output and this is the common ground knob and this is for 30 volts voltage this is, this is the CRO and this is the button which is used to switch it on and off and this is the knob which is used to shift the X axis and this is the knob which is used to shift the Y axis and there is a button called channel here it is used to shift between channel 1 and 2 when it is when the switch is switched in it will be in channel 2 and and this is the channel 2 you can adjust the Y axis and X axis and this is the time period uh, knob which is used to set the time period and this is the voltage knob used to set the voltage and this is the socket for the probe and this is the positive of the probe and this is the negative of the probe these are connected to the circuit to get the output this is the switch used to shift from AC and DC when it is pressed in it's DC and when it is pressed out it's AC and this is the ground button when you press it, it is grounded and when you press it again, when it is out, it is not grounded and you can get the output. This is DC regulated power supply. This is voltage and this is the current. These knobs are used to set the voltage. This is for fine adjustment of the voltage. This is positive terminal and this is negative terminal. This is the common ground. We have our same setup here. This is the breadboard. And these holes are actually shorted vertically but this and this are not shorted and these holes are shorted horizontally and this and this are not shorted even here same thing these are shorted horizontally but this and this are not shorted this is the trainer kit which is used in LD experiments now I will show you how to insert the IC into the slot just leave one slot below in order to insert it just lift the knob up insert the IC and the notch should be above and in order to close it just push it down this is the power cord and this is the switch to turn it on and off this is the automatic clock this is the mono shot this is BCD to decimal converter these are 14 pin IC slots these are 16 pin IC slots this is 20 pin IC slot and this is 40 pin IC slot this is the patch cord which is used in our LD experiments let me demonstrate it these are the input slots and these are the output slots if it is given as low the output will be low if you give it as I we will get it as I this is 5 volt DC supply these are internally shorted this is neutral these are internally shorted this is ground and these are internally shorted each number has two slots and they are internally shorted these two are uh, output slots and they are given by if it is green it's low and if it is red it's I and these are input slots and even these are input slots 